This is strong tank. Well, howdy folks and welcome back to the garage. Today we are giving the tier eight Russian heavy, the IS-3, a good once over. The IS-3 is many things to many people, but to me it's not only a mobile and good looking heavy tank, it's tough, durable, and packs enough punch in the gun where even tier 10 tank drivers should be wary. Regular AP shells have 225 millimeters of penetration and the APCR rounds are capable of slicing through 265 millimeters of the toughest armor. With numbers like these, the IS-3 can penetrate the turret front of every tier 10 in the game. If that wasn't enough, it will liberate 400 hit points from your enemy's health pool, on average with each penetrating shot. It's not all magic though with this gun, the aim time is glacial, the rate of fire at just over 4 rounds per minute, and the dispersion of .40 makes long distance accuracy a complete crapshoot. For these reasons, I run the Rammer gun laying drive and the vertical stabilizer. I do not run coated optics to compensate for the lowest view range of tier 8 heavies at 240 meters because I don't make it a habit to fight from long distance. IS-3 is no thief in the night either. IS-3 likes to brawl, will stand toe to toe with its peers and will even intimidate higher tiered vehicles. In general, shooting at the turret is not going to work out very well for you with its 220 millimeters on the front, sides and rear combined with those complex curves. The massive weak spot here is the center of the roof section and everyone will try and shoot you there when you're brawling. When you look at the piked nose of this tank, you might think that whatever angle you present to the enemy would have an excellent chance of bouncing a shot, but the truth is the nose is not as tough as it looks and being overconfident could cost you your tank. IS-3 really shines while side scraping, presenting its side to the enemy at a maximum angle of about 22 degrees depending on the caliber of the gun shooting at it so that its armor, its spaced armor, and its tracks can bounce or absorb shells from very capable weapons, including the 128mm of the tier 10 German Maus. The forward mounted turret on the IS-3 is an advantage in this case where you can spin your tank around and back the back end into the obstacle so that you're still presenting the same angle, you're still side scraping, it's called reverse side scraping, but your turret can now see the enemy, so now you can respond while you're bouncing those shots, you'll be plugging them full of holes. IS-3 is not your typical big, dumb, slow, heavy tank either. The IS-3 will use its 14 horsepower per ton power to weight ratio, 38 km per hour top speed to chase down and finish off enemies who cower and run at the last. Well, that's likely enough talk. Why don't we get into some of that gameplay action? Time to roll out indeed. All right, let's go. Oh, there's a defender back there. Okay, let's have a good look here. I think this is a half decent battle. I'll give you some really good example on how this tank really can you know, can really shine. Alright. You always want to be careful throwing your nose out, like in any tank, but sometimes that's the quickest way to get a quick peek. Okay. Bounce shot. Ooh, put a good one into him. Now, we are going to line up here for some side scraping. So that's what this tank really there. Bounce one already. From whose tire bounced his as well. Put another one in. Oh, there's a Yag out there. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Come on, buddy. Thanks, pal. You are just a lot of fun, I gotta say. Alright. Oh, missed the tiger, but I bet you hit that Yag behind it. Whoa! Took our tracks off. Oh, sure. He's sure. Park right behind me. Give him a little shove, let him know what we're looking for here. Yes, thanks very much. Perhaps you recognize ice cream. Well, bounce another one. Oh, we did not penetrate the egg. Did not aim that up really well. Okay, what do we got going down here? Oh, bounce. Aim up nice here. Oof. And we lost the track still. Not any more than initial damage. Bounce another one. Lost our track. Still no more damage. Oh, 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 bang, bang. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, and another one. Oh, that one actually hurt. All right. No angle on us there. Okay. Mr. Prince, how about let me go first? I got way more hit points. Panther. Oh, we bounced the Panther. Damaged the track. Well, I guess that wasn't completely. Yeah, bounce another one. This guy's thinking, oh, my God. Oh, right through the front plate. Oh, he takes some off us that time. That long arm 75 is a good gun. He's not going to do well. Oh, Black Prince smokes him and we finish him. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, we won't go back to that same position, but now we got to poke our nose around another corner. I just hate doing that in this tank. So far, so good, though. Uh -huh. 
minus three over there. Oh, Gag Panther. Thank goodness he missed. We put one into him here. Yep. Ooh, another good flow. Oh, okay, we took a big hit from him. Ammunition and tracks. Let's repair the whole smackaroo there. Gag Panther. Let's back out on the angle. Nope. Nope. Where are you? No. All right. Not seeing him. Oh, we lost our defender. Oh, no shot there. All right. Well, I'm not sure about that uh, Yag Panther. Oh, now I am. That's where he is. Boom! We bounce his shot. They hit us in the turret. Oh, we bounce our shot at him. He bounces another one off us. This is not going to work. Oh, the Black Prince is gone from our team. Oh, it's us. It's just us. And three more people. Well, well. Do our best here. Okay. That was lucky. Good timing on our shot. Good timing on our shot. Now, let's get around. Oh, okay. That's where the egg went. I think we can finish him. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Honey Badger. He doesn't care. Okay. Oh, there's the IS-3. Last one on their team. I don't have a reload. I guess he didn't either. He's backing into that corner. Going to wait for us to come around. Well, I guess that... Oh, someone's telling me I can win. I'm going to do my best, sir. To be sure. I can't see or no. Can't, I don't know if I can get through that place or not. Oh, me. Yeah, it looks like I could have, but that's all right. We'll go this way. Now, let's uh, tender foot up to the corner. Okay, there. Is he looking at us? We'll give him the proper angle here. He's not even looking. What's he doing? His treads are still moving backwards. Well, sorry for him. Maybe... I don't know what was going on there. He must have been looking in... Uh, I don't know what he was doing. Oh, well. Let's check those stats. Okay, our first stat screen here reveals we've got a first class master badge, a top gun, a steel wall, and a call of Banoffs medal for standing against three enemies and winning. All right, four destroyed. We dealt 3,388 damage and netted out a nice 21,530 credits. Now, our second stat screen reveals that we are very firmly in first place for amount of damage dealt, uh, both on our team and on the enemy team. We got the aforementioned four kills, 1,219 base experience points, and the four medals. Now, what you can also tell here, our T-34 had a pretty darn good game. Everyone on our team did contribute. Everyone on the enemy team contributed as well. We just had a little bit better numbers overall, and that's why we're the winners today. And just a quick pit stop at the statistics tab here. I just wanted you to see, if you look in the bottom left, hits received 28. Only 10 of those did penetrate. And because of our side scraping and our tough turret, we bounced 18 out of 28 shots. Just keep that in mind. This is a tough tank. Well, folks, that's our look at the IS-3, the Tier 8 Russian Heavy. Yeah, what do you think, eh? Tough tank. You gotta use it right, though. Uh, the nose is not as tough as it looks. It's still good, but not as tough as it looks. Uh, side scraping is where that tank shines. And, you know, the turret, turret if you got it angled just right, 220 mils of uh, armor, sides, rear, and front, that helps you out a lot too. Yeah, side scraping, that is the key to this tank. The gun, on the other hand, the gun is great, except for a few small things, like I mentioned, the glacial aiming time, the slow rate of fire, and the poor, poor accuracy at distance. However, it makes up for it when you're brawling because you brawl up fairly up close. I mean, I did a little bit there with the Yag and the Tiger One at some distance. Missed that one shot, no idea where that shell went, but hey, that's the way it goes. Well, folks, if you really like these videos, please consider hitting the thumbs up underneath. And if you really like them, why not subscribe? You'll get a notice every time we share new awesome content, and that way you won't miss out. And as always, please visit the uh, Twitter and Facebook pages. That's where all the info goes that, you know, doesn't seem relevant for a video, but still kind of good stuff to know. All right, folks, thanks very much for stopping by and watching. I will catch you next time.